Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Aware Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding top three wineries. The difficulty level of this question is hard, and I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the Panda schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads: We are given a table called wineries with four different columns: ID, country, points, and winery. ID is the column of unique values for this table. This table contains ID, country, points, and winery. We are asked to write a solution to find the top Top three wineries in each country based on their total points. If multiple wineries have the same total points, order them by winery name in ascending order. If there is no second winery, output no second winery, and if there is no third winery, output no third winery. Return the result table ordered by country in ascending order. Okay. Let's go through this example. So here we have Australia and three different wineries. What is the top winery for Australia? How many held with points? Hundred. Then second highest is Grapes Galore and third highest is Whispering Pines. For Hungary, we only have one. So the top winery is Moonlit Cellars. Second winery does not exist, and third winery also does not exist. Similarly, for USA and India, we can go ahead and get that. And this is what we get. Let me just. Get in the output. Okay, so this is what we need: top winery, one column; second winery, another column; and third winery. Okay, so to solve this question, what we need to do is let me just you know scroll back up. So here you can have for a particular winery, right? For example, USA Royal Wines. You can have two rows, right? So it is possible to have in a particular country same winery with. Two different rows. That means you need the total points. So you can go ahead and group by the country and winery and get the sum of the points to get actually the total points of that particular winery in that particular country. So what we are going to do is from this table called wineries, let us group by the country as well as the winery, and let us return the. Country and the winery columns and perform a sum of the points to get total points. So as total and let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get in our output. So now if you look at it, we have country, winery, and the total points. Now what we need is we need the ranking for every country based on highest total to the lowest, and if the total is same, by winery's name in ascending order. So what we can do is we can go ahead and rank. So let's use row number, and then since this is a window function over, we need this for every country. So partition by country, and then order by the total points. That is sum of the Points. That is how you got the total points, right? You cannot go directly and use total here because or everything in select is executed at the same time. So sum of points, and then that should be in decreasing manner. And if it is same, so you need to order by winery name in ascending order. So winery, and let us alias this as rank. Let me go ahead and rank this. Let's see what do we get. So what we have right now is. That okay for every country based on the total points, they we have the ranks. Okay, now once we have this, then what we can do is we can go ahead and keep only certain ranks. Why? Because we only need the top three, right? So let me just go ahead and save this entire thing in a common table expression with CTE as, and then this entire thing goes into parentheses, and now. From this common table expression, we are only keeping those rows where rank is less than equal to three. And then what we should do is let us return all the columns right now. What we have in the output, we need the name of the winery as well as the points concatenated. So let's go ahead and make that column here only. So what we can do is concatenate the name of the winery and then. You have a space and open parenthesis, then total that is the points, and then you concatenate with the close parenthesis. And let's alias this as something like winery with points wwp or whatever name you want to give it to it. So let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get here. Okay, so now once we have this, let me just you know drag it to the left. So now you have okay for country ranks and the wine with the points so that it's easier for us to 
get to the final output okay once we have this then what we need is we need to basically say that okay for a particular country this is the top winery this is the second winery this is the third winery so what we can do is let's save this entire thing in another common table expression so cte2 as this entire thing goes into parentheses and then what we are doing is from this common table expression to for every country we want the first second and third right so we can go ahead and group by the country column right let me just drag it above so that it's easier for us so we have country group by the country and then what we are doing is let us return the country and now what we want is we want the first column as the top winery that means rank is equal to one so let's use case when statements so case when rank is equal to one then you return me the winery with point else you return me null since you started a case when statement you end it right now the trickiest part of this question is here this is you need to understand so for example let us take the country called australia right so you have grouped by the country so this the first three lines they become one group now you say case when rank equal to one then return me wwp so rank equal to one it returns this harmony hill 100 right so this entire thing it is returned i'm talking about australia right so let me just you know, paste it here just wanted to explain you okay now it says else null that means for all other ranks so here you have rank two and three so what it will say is for rank two return me null and for rank three as well return me null okay so since this is a group right australia is a group these are the three that is returned for all these three ranks so obviously out of this what do you need you need the text that you actually received out of it right so this case when statement has actually for australia these three values and out of this you need the valid one right that is how many hill 100 so how can you get that remember the function max so max if you do max of two and three what will it return three right but you can also do max of a and b and you can compare strings as well so it will return b similarly if you do max of harmony hill null and null so it will ignore the null values and return you the valid and if everything is null so it can also return you null in the output right so that is a property of max that we need to use here otherwise it would be very difficult to solve this so what we are doing here is okay we had harmony hill 100 null and null so you return me the max out of it that means you return me the valid one and this should be aliased as top winery let me go ahead and run this for this let's see what do we have here so now you have for every country top winery now let's go ahead and try to do this again for rank equal to two and three let me just copy this part right and then we need for the second winery right so let me just bring it down okay so max of so case when rank equal to two then you return me the winery with points else you return me null and end okay now again let us take the example of australia so again same stuff so null graves galore and null so obviously max does it but let's look at what happens to someone like india so india only has rank equal to one so since you write that case when rank equal to two then only you return me wwp else you return me null right so rank equal to one is returned as null and there is no other rank so basically what it this is doing is max of null it is already returning you null right so if i go ahead and alias this as second winery and similarly if i go ahead and do this right let's let's see what do we get in our final output and still not complete yet but it would be you know very interesting to see what we are going to get out of it and then third winery let me go ahead and run this okay so now if you look at it let me just you know drag it to the left further so you have second winery for hungary and india because there was no rank two and rank three for them so null and null right so here it is returning max of null max of null and it is being returned as null right now in the 
question it says that if there is no second binary or third binary returns that it is no second binary and no third binary so what we can do is if this thing comes out to be null right if this entire thing comes out to be null then you basically replace it with something called so no second binary and similarly you replace this entire thing with no third binary right so if null and then replace this with no third binary okay now let me go ahead and run this again let's see what do we get in our output so yeah this shows accepted but still not complete yet if i look at our output it is exactly as expected output but it also says we need to order this output by country in ascending order so what we need to do here is let me just bring it down order by country in ascending order let me go ahead and run this now so now it is accepted our output is exactly same as expected output let me go ahead and sum it to surpass all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is our way so very tricky question what we basically had to do was firstly since there can be multiple rows for every binary so we grouped by the country and binary and got the total points and then ranked based on the total points in decreasing manner and if it is going to be same then by binary name in ascending order once we had that then what we did was we firstly only kept only those rows where rank is less than equal to three because we want the top three binaries and then we concatenated the binary with total points because that is required for our output format once we had that then what we did was for every country we found out okay when your rank is equal to one return me the binary with points else null and you are using the max function here to basically get the valid points so that is since you are grouping by a country and you can have multiple ranks and you want only one particular rank in one particular column so you need to max out of it so max of a valid and null null it going to give you the max string similarly we did for second and third and since sometimes second or third binary cannot exist so we use the if null statement to make sure that we replace the nulls with no second binary or no third binary so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there's a better more efficient solution to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video